how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Two Point Campus. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. We are still in Mitten University and there is a very particular reason for that. I got to thinking about things we could do to improve our future universities and I figured it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe go for three stars on at least one of the universities that we have. And Mitten, to be honest, is probably going to be the easiest university to do that in because we just need 100 students and we can totally do that. Staff happiness needs to go up by another 5%. We can do that. We can upgrade items. That's not really all that difficult. And we do need robotics students to graduate, which is going to take a little bit, but we can probably do that as well. We do have a lot of A-grade students, which is fantastic. Now, I'm not saying that in this video we are going to be hitting three stars in Mitten University, but I am saying that I want to toy around with a couple of things and just experiment a little bit and see what we can do. Now, let's see here. We got two applicants. We got some money. We are making good money as well. That's the other reason I want to try something out here. And... What I want to try to begin with is going up here and I want to go ahead and purchase this plot of land. We're going to get some buildings on it as well. And essentially, I want to move all of my dormitories into this space. It's a ways away from, well, obviously it's a ways away from everything, but I feel like we could get a dedicated dormitory space and that might be kind of cool. And while we're waiting for that, we also want to make sure that we are training everybody, all of our teachers to be, well, you know what? I think we can queue up all of them, can't we? Yeah, we absolutely can. So let's just queue everybody up for a bit of training. The idea is they're all at some point going to be level five. And while we're doing that, we could probably go ahead and copy this room and put it over here. We can get ourselves another training room. Do we actually have, we only have, uh, oh, we do. We do have another one up here as well. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get ourselves a training room right in this space and i think that'll be pretty good and i'm pretty sure you are all queued up to get training so i don't think it matters which room you go to so they can go to that one as well they can go to this one and to be quite honest i'm very tempted to just go ahead and turn this into a training facility also how's this doing this is actually looking okay I might, I might expand this a little bit, but I think first I am going to move my training rooms into this space and I am going to go ahead and get another one right about here. And I think this one we should probably expand just because we can. Although what I might do is, let's see, can I pick up the entire room? I guess we'll place it and then pick it up, move it to here and just expand it this way. So that gives us a bit of a larger training room. We could probably go ahead and throw something else in here. It doesn't really matter what it is. What is this? Training monitors plus 1% learning power. Okay. We'll go ahead and grab those. We'll put them there and there and approve it. And that'll give us a little bit more training in that room in particular. And that should mean that all of my staff will just come over here to get trained, which is making me think that a staff room in that space might not be a bad idea. Or another staff room maybe in this space or another library or anything really actually looking at it, another another library might be a good idea so let's clone you we can swing it around a little bit and what we're gonna have to do is move a couple of things so the radiator for one needs to be moved and uh, i'm just gonna put it out there for a second we'll grab this poster we'll get rid of that one and we'll move the door to here everything now works radiator is gonna go right back in there and in terms of posters i mean we can go ahead and grab those again we'll put one over here and we'll get the other one and put it sort of by the radiator so there we go so that will give us another library we are gonna want to get ourselves another assistant so reg galaxy is gonna work in there and that's good so two libraries we have four spaces for staff to get trained and we have plenty of things that we can upgrade, which we absolutely want to do. So let's go and have a look. This thing can't be upgraded. This guy actually can't be upgraded either. I wonder if I need to research. I think I do need to research some more stuff. Although, what are you working on right now? You're working on Research Hub 3. Well, fair enough. Or wait, it's being 
upgraded. That's what's going on. We're not working on Research Hub 3. We're upgrading to, and we have done, Research Hub 3. So let's see here. Let's go ahead for... Ooh, Training Pod 2 would be kind of nice. I've got to be honest, a little bit more training efficiency. I'm actually going to go for that. That seems like the way to go. Now, what I also want to do is go ahead and clone the staff room that we have, and I'm going to put it just up here. And what I think I'll do with this is we'll expand the room quite considerably, and then we have to move stuff around so it kind of makes sense. Uh, so what we'll do is put the pigeonhole thing. What, what is this? What is that called? It is cubby holes. I always knew this as uh, pigeon holes. I don't know why it would be. I mean, regardless. I mean, it does look like somewhere a pigeon would go. But we'll put it there. Uh, we can move the vending machines to here. I think we'll keep the little darts area, although we do need to move the bin, I guess, could go next to the vending machines. And then I guess this lamp can go in the corner, which seems dangerous. I've got to be honest. You know, you miss the dart board, you hit the lamp, it might, I don't know, blow up. But that's probably okay. That's, that's a risk I'm willing to take. And there we go. We have ourselves a decent looking, I think, staff room. We also added, you know, a test your strength thing because I figured that would be decent as well, but we'll see if they like it. Now, here's what I want to see. You guys want a circuit board. I'm willing to do that. We'll go ahead and unlock it, and I don't know where they want it. I've actually got no idea where they want this thing. Uh, so I'll just put it, I don't know, I'll, I'll put it like here. That seems to be where it, it wanted me. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put the circuit board thing there. And where is it you wanted that? Cannot be reached. I have no idea where you want this thing. I'm assuming it might be in the dormitory. It might be in here. That, that might also be where they wanted it. Is that... Okay, it doesn't say anymore. That's fine. Uh, crazy taxi machine? No. Uh, winged serpent? No. Two-player arcade table? No. And you want the waning moon? Okay, well, we will get this thing because I can put it outside. And I don't have to look at it if it's outside, which is good. So we'll go ahead and put this thing... I don't know, right about there is fine by me. Now, palpitation machine wanted. Nope, not getting that either. Now, here's here's what I'm thinking. From what I've gathered, there are absolutely a number of students that are not happy with the current setup that we have. There is one that absolutely 100% refused to pay, yeah, you, you're feeling chilly, okay. There was one, there was a pop-up that was like a student is refusing to uh, pay their fees. And I can't see the student that might be annoyed. You're thirsty, interesting. So I think we might need more. You need, you're tired, you're bursting. We do have showers. We don't have that many toilets though, do we? That's probably something we want to look into. Let's go ahead and get some more toilets. So we'll copy these ones. Swing it around a little bit to right about here. And I guess I could, I could probably do something with this. And that right there seems like a much better bathroom, which is right next to an existing bathroom because apparently I'm blind, which is funny because I, I am in fact where I, I don't wear them often, but I am in fact wearing my glasses at the moment. So that's an interesting little detail. I'll tell you what I think we might do. I think we might get rid of the showers and move them somewhere else and put a bathroom in here because I am apparently, <laughs> apparently quite blind. <laughs> so we'll just go for something really simple as we usually do. We'll not go too crazy with the bathroom here since we are just going for something that's going to be good for accessibility. So we'll do exactly the same layout. We'll have, you know, a hand dryer each, a sink each. Uh, we can do some hand sanitizer next to those dryers just to, you know, have a bit of extra hygiene in there. And then over here, we could maybe do a toilet poster to demonstrate how to correctly use the toilet. That is horrifying that such a thing would even be needed. But uh, yeah, we'll put that in there and uh, we'll do this one for hand washing. And I don't know that we have anything else. That's a phone poster. We can't even afford it, so we'll not bother with it. Uh, we'll just do another hand washing poster. Just bring the... The status of the room up a little bit. We will, of course, do some kind of radiator in here just to make the place nice and warm. 
And I wonder, can I put one up there? It doesn't seem to be doing anything for the heat overlay. So that'll do. That will be our bathroom, which could maybe use some kind of plant in uh, in the corner down here. So how about, how about you? And we'll approve it. So that's going to be a new bathroom. We don't have any showers now. But honestly, that's okay. Because like I said, we're going to come up this way. And I think we are now going to play around with the idea of getting some decent dormitories in here. So let's modify this building. That's that's what I want to do. And what I need to do with this space, I think... Well, actually, let's go ahead and design the dormitory first. That seems like a much better idea. So I'm going to be stealing this idea from someone on my Discord server. And also a longtime viewer and Twitch subscriber. I'm going to be stealing this idea from Voxy, who posted this over on discord.gg slash conflict nerd and I thought this was a really cool design for a dormitory so you go four across and then I think you go like I don't know three down I'm not actually 100% sure what the exact proportions are but essentially what we do is put some dividers uh, like like this and then you go in and I think what Voxy has done is gone for a different type of bed? I'm not actually 100% sure. I think it might actually just be this one. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to go for... I kind of like the, the brown frame bed. And I think just to change things up a little bit, let's go for... I don't know, let's go for those sheets right there and that'll be fine. Uh, so what we do is we put two beds in here and we have the divider. And then we go and get the 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 wardrobe and it has to go sort of here and here and then what we do is grab the table and the table sort of goes against the wall in each oh no i don't want to cancel the room uh how did we do just give me the overview oh my god we get so many awards we got contribution to research we got cutting edge campus we get campus of the year we got queen of clubs and king of hearts okay not bad that's fine uh, let's finish this dormitory. So we do this with the tables. And then next to it, Voxy's gone ahead and put in some plants. So I think just to change it up a little bit, we'll do a uh, sunflower on that side. We'll do a regular plant on that side. And then we can go and throw, you know, some bins in here. And we'll put the bins sort of real close to the plants. So something like this. And we can go and throw something like, uh, I think Voxy's put a hat stand down in one of these corners as well. We could get the dressers. <clears throat> Sorry. We could get the dressers as well. My throat is not doing so good these days. Could get the dresser. I think we'll go for the hat stand. And I'm very tempted to get the, uh, the dark throne. I think that's really cool. But for now, we'll put a hat stand down in the corner. We'll get ourselves a nice uh, radiator... I'm thinking here, and I'm thinking here, and then I guess we could do some hand sanitizer by the door and some posters down here, and I think everything will be okay. So I'm going to double up on hand sanitizer just because I can. We'll do some dorm notice boards by the beds. We're at level five for a dormitory. We could do some bedside tables as well if we really wanted to. I don't know that they're going to fit anywhere though, now that I think about it. Let's take a little look and see if I can maybe squeeze a bad side table in here. It's not really looking like it. So there we go. With a whole bunch of posters and all that good stuff, we've got this up to be a seven star or seven crown level seven prestige dormitory. So we'll go ahead and approve that. And I think it looks pretty good. I think that's kind of fantastic. So my idea here is I want to grab this. I want to clone it. I want to put it here and approve it. And that gives us campus level 16. We can go ahead and modify the campus. And if I do this, and then if I do this, it gives us a corridor. And if I do this, it gives us room for more of the dormitories. If I then go and do this, and I do all of this, that gives us more room for more dormitories. So I'm going to approve that. And it's going to give us this weird corridor that sort of goes up the middle of the uh, the building, but that's okay. And what we'll do is essentially go and grab you. We'll copy it and put it there and approve it. And we're just going to do that same thing a couple of times over to give us a dedicated sort of dormitory space. I also did this too big. 
So we can actually bring that weird corridor back a little bit. Uh, but we'll do this. We'll grab you, copy it again. And then if I go and modify the building, I want to take out this bit. So there we go. And that'll give us a little bit of space back, a little bit of green back as well. And you know what I've also realized? I could totally put windows on these dormitories. That might look kind of nice. And you know what? It actually does look kind of cool. And I also love that the windows get covered by like a little blind there. That's kind of cool. So I think what we're going to do essentially is go around and very, very simply, I just need to grab these notice boards and move them away from the beds. And then we can just slap a whole bunch of windows in there. And that will help to, I think, bring the dormitories up a little bit. I'm not too sure if it actually does anything for their attractiveness, but at the very least, it will, uh, you know, give them a, a window, right? That's kind of nice. I, I think a window in here will be would be kind of nice. And it's also going to look cool from the outside as well, I think. So a bunch of windows just across here. And if we look at it sort of from the outside, you can see, you know, nothing. It's got a blind there, but that's okay. So that's our dormitories. And I think, I do think that's pretty cool. I like that a whole lot. So basically this right here is going to be our main dormitories building. We're going to sort of do the same thing on the other side eventually as well. Uh, but what I want to do here is also go in and get ourselves things like bathrooms and things like shower rooms and possibly even a little student lounge over here as well. But I think the first thing we'll do is get ourselves just a little tiny bathroom in uh, in this corner. I think that's going to be sort of important. Uh, so we'll do something really quite compact here. It uh, doesn't need to be too crazy at all. So something like this for a little bathroom. Uh, we can maybe throw a garbage can in there. We absolutely can. So we'll go ahead and prove that. And that'll keep students relatively happy. Uh, and then what we could probably do is go and get ourselves a shower room. Which could probably be a decent uh, size. So what we'll do for a shower room... Let's see, what way do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to have them face each other. It's maybe a little odd, but it's probably a decent use of the space. Now, let's see. This will increase the attractiveness. That will dry your pans, I guess. We'll just do some towels sort of around the uh, the walls a little bit here. And can we get like a rug or something? I guess we could put this in here. Just to remind people how to uh, how to clean, of course. And I think that's probably okay. We don't need to go too crazy. That's just a shower room by the dormitories. And that should keep people nice and happy. And then all I want to do at this point is go ahead and get myself a few radiators. Because, you know, this whole place is kind of freezing. So a radiator there and there. We'll keep that sort of central space nice and warm. Uh, a radiator here and over here as well. That's very warm now. And then what we'll do is sort of put a radiator at the divide between each of the rooms and that makes for a very very warm hallway but that should be all right so there we go i think this is a pretty decent setup for the dormitories i'll put some decorations and stuff into the hallways eventually but right now i'm not too worried about it what do you want a neon guitar sure where do you want the neon guitar that's that's gonna be the real question because i can kind of put this thing anywhere I guess I'll put it, like, above that bed and see if that's good enough. That's not where you wanted it. I actually have no idea where to put this thing. Um, let's put it on, I guess, this wall. We'll see if that helps us a little bit. And then what do you want? You want the raven lamp. Okay, sure, we'll get that as well. And then I guess you want it down in this dormitory. Uh, as long as you don't set anything on fire, I'm not really too worried about that. So that should keep people happy. Now... Let's go ahead and look at some courses, because thus far, we have been going all in on robotics, which is great. But we could, because we have 50 course points, we could get two new courses. We could go for, like, Internet History and Funny Business, which I think Internet History and Funny Business would be a funny combination. So let's start that course, and let's also add Funny Business. And they're going to be relatively low tier... Uh, courses, but it is 94 students, 1.3 million in tuition fees. We can't upgrade anything, but I'm going to confirm this, and it means that we have a lot of things that we need now. But that's okay, because we have a lot of space where we can do all of that. 
So Robo Construction is one thing we need. We'll go ahead and just copy this one. And we'll just stick a new one right about there. And that's fine. So Robo Construction is done. We're going to need more Robo Design, which is this guy. So we'll copy it. And we'll just go ahead and put it. Let's see. Can I put it right here? I absolutely can. So there's Robo Design sorted. Uh, we need another lecture theater, which is slightly surprising, but that's, again, very easy. We'll just go ahead and uh, copy this existing one. And let's see, will it fit nicely up here? It actually sort of does. Let's see, what if I put it this way? I actually kind of like that. I think that's, that's a pretty good spot for it. And then we'll throw some bathrooms back there as well, which is good because obviously I may have doubled up in bathrooms here and I didn't need to. So... I'm going to grab this guy and just move it. And there we go. We have ourselves another bathroom with a window that might be looking into the bathroom. I don't know. I don't know about that. Don't know about that one. Let's let's get rid of that window. That doesn't doesn't seem like a very good idea at all. Uh, but there we go. So we have the lecture theater. Uh, let's go ahead and say upgrade this guy. Let's go ahead and say we can't upgrade that guy. We can upgrade you, though. And let's see. How's research going at the minute? It is upgrading to training pod two. That's fine. So that gives us a bunch of stuff over here. We are absolutely going to want to make sure that this is all nice and warm, though. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a radiator just up there. And I guess we'll put a radiator in there to make sure it's warm. I guess we'll get a radiator. I wish I could get one back there. I don't think it's going to let me. I can get one back there, though, which is good. And I guess we'll get one sort of over here as well. We'll get one sort of here. And we'll get one there, just to make sure that space is as warm as can be. Uh, this bathroom is actually quite cold. So I wonder if we throw a radiator there. That actually blocks a few things. I don't love that. Can I move you into that space? I absolutely can. And that seems fine. So that's, that's a decent little setup. We do need a bunch more things, though. So we need a computer lab. We need a science lab, a funny business teacher, and an internet history teacher. Now... We do have this space available, but I like the idea of that being for staff. So I almost wonder if we should buy this chunk of land and put the computer lab, science lab, and all that stuff into this area. I think that's, I think that's maybe what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and purchase this land with the buildings. We can let it build and then put everything in there that we need. And actually, I think this is a pretty cool looking space. I really, really like it. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We need a computer lab. Now, a computer lab is this guy. It needs to be four by four, which is what this space right here is perfect for. So let's just do a little four by four space. Now we need analog computers. We need analog consoles. We need whiteboards. So, oh my God, that's huge. That is not what I was expecting at all. We'll do a um, we'll do a couple of analog consoles. We'll do one here, here, and that should be fine. We have an analog monitor, which I'll throw sort of at the back of either side there. We have an analog server, which is a cabinet. It's a filing cabinet. <laughs> that might be that might be one of the best jokes in this game. That the analog server is just a filing cabinet. <laughs> that might genuinely, genuinely be one of the best jokes in this entire game. <laughs> I love that so much. I cannot tell you how much I adore that. That is so good. Uh, let's do a whiteboard here. Let's get a whiteboard over here as well. And that seems fine. That's gonna be the computer lab and it can live right about there without any any, uh, any issues as for a science lab it needs to be five by five which is a little bit bigger than uh, this guy right here so let's go for a different space for the science lab this here is four it'd be nice if it was four by four i'm gonna be honest well maybe maybe we do just put it next door and then put the door like here Right, doors right on the corner. That might be the way to go. To be honest, might be. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just put the science lab over here. 
Uh, now this thing, we'll put it right in the middle of that wall. We of course have this giant thing, which can go here. And then a bunch of extra stuff as well. So we'll go ahead and get like science shelves in here. Do these actually help at all? They don't, that's annoying. Do we have anything that can help? So this thing, if we could afford it, is more learning power. And I gotta get more kudosh, I tell you. I really gotta get more kudosh. Let's go for some whiteboards, I guess. So a whiteboard there, a whiteboard there. And we'll get one in the middle as well. We'll go for three whiteboards. And on the other side, I guess we will just do a whole bunch of scientific shelves. Just to, I don't know, give people something to drink in here. That's how we're gonna do it. That's that's the priority of the science room, right? Give people something to drink. <laughs> that seems that seems safe and healthy and, you know. Like a good idea. And just like that, we have everyone we need to start the academic year. I've gone ahead and made this little area in here a little bit more attractive, which I think looks fantastic. And I think I might go ahead and get ourselves just one more lecture theater, because I think it would look kind of cool in here if we had a lecture theater, although it's not actually gonna fit, unfortunately. Well, it would if I made it a bit bigger, but I don't know that I wanna do that. I could potentially make this building a little bit bigger, but again, I don't know that I want to do that either. I guess maybe, I guess maybe we do just do this, right? Just make the lecture theater considerably larger. Might be a little bit weird to do, but that's okay. We'll move, uh, let's see, we'll keep it there. We'll move this, well, actually, we don't need to move that radiator. We need to move this one. Uh, so this radiator can live here and that keeps the lecture theater okay. Might be a bit weird having the lecture theater be this big. So let's go ahead and throw some speakers in here. This will hopefully just increase the, you know, I guess the, the quality of the room or something. Get a nice picture right there. Probably already have one of those in there. We absolutely do. Uh, let's go ahead and move it to here. And radiator wise, we'll go for down there and we'll go for, I suppose up here as well. And there we go. We have a decently sized lecture theater. And I suppose what we can also do is pop over this way, grab this bathroom, clone it, and we can throw a little bathroom down into this space right here. We can make it a tiny little bit bigger as well. And that'll keep everyone over on this side of the campus relatively happy. Uh, we can even go ahead and throw a sink right there and another hand dryer right there. We'll prove it and that should keep us good now. That entire space is looking fine by me. We don't have the points needed to upgrade anything at the minute. So I think that pretty much puts us in a spot where we are good to go ahead and start the academic year. This is what we're going to start with and start the next year. We'll see what happens. We're up to 94 students on campus. I was kind of hoping it'd go a little bit higher than that, but we'll see. This is, this is good. It's a good start. What do you want? Crazy Taxi Machine? I don't think so. Crazy Taxi is a fantastic game, but no. Oh, this is really cool. So we do have a course going on in here. We have all this stuff getting upgraded. We have a course going in here, something going down here. There's just a lot of things going on and it's really cool to see. I'm also slightly tempted, as I've mentioned, to go in and get rid of all these dormitories down here because I don't feel like we need them anymore. Because the whole idea is to move the dormitories and move the students into these spaces here. Uh, we also need to fix a bunch of things. I did, by the way, go ahead and hire a few more janitors. So my hope is that, you know, having a few more janitors in here will put us in a spot where perhaps things do get fixed a little bit uh, better. I'm also hoping that maybe this year we can get a few more A-grade robotic students graduating. And we've got a few more items to upgrade as well. Now, we do have this already being upgraded. Staff happiness is pretty decent. So I think next year is probably when we'll pass that 100 students on campus, which is honestly okay. That's that's not it's not so bad. That's, that's a pretty good goal. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I went ahead and put in the book club as well. I gave them something else to join. And I've also realized that... Uh, I don't think there's any bins around here. So this place is going to be absolutely filthy. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bin right here. And let me get a little bin uh, right about here as well. Just to stop the place from being, you know, absolutely filthy. Oh, it looks like we got a bunch of teachers that are finally finishing their robotics training. 
which is kind of great. That's absolutely what we're looking for. And we absolutely do have another one just finished their robotics training. So that's going to get us a bunch of robotics teachers that are perfectly capable of doing good things. Uh, what we can also do, though, is go and have Charlie Styles upgrade his internet history <laughs> capabilities. Uh, we'll get Gary Bergerac to upgrade as well. We'll get you guys to start working on level three. In your case, level four. In your case, level three. And can we get you to like level six? I guess we can, right? Let's go for it. Let's go for level six there. And while we're at it, we can also upgrade all of the training pods as well. And that should make these things, I would imagine, a little bit more efficient, which will be absolutely fantastic. So that'll keep us in a good spot for all the training pods. That will get us the upgrades done. And we do need to upgrade one more thing. So I think we're doing all right. I really do. What you, what's this? 93,000? We're making so much money. They also want me to schedule sci-fi films. Oh, boy. We actually have a lot of stuff that we can schedule. I always forget about this. Okay. What if we schedule a sci-fi film for... I don't know, the start of February? We already have something going on in there, but I guess it's going on in a different lecture theater. So we'll do that. And then the start of February, yeah, we have a couple of films. That's all right. I guess I guess having multiple film events is fair enough. So I guess while we have everything else going on, let's go ahead and get a few more dormitories. Because if I do this, we can get to a point where, as I've mentioned, we can go ahead and... Ooh, campus level 20. Don't mind if I do. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of the original dormitories. So we'll go ahead and just double these guys up. We could do a bunch more back there, but I think what I'm going to do is approve that for now. We'll go to you. We'll copy it, put another one here and approve it. And then if we go to this building and edit it, we want to go, I guess, to this way for another dormitory, two across here for another hallway, and then three and four here. And that'll give us another couple of dormitories, which is fine by me. I don't know if this building is symmetrical, though, so we'll just sort of do this to begin with. And we'll go ahead and just clone and place you. And then exactly the same thing just on the other side as well. We'll leave that gap in the middle because I can do something in there. And I guess we look at doing it on the other side as well. So if I do this, uh, we're going to have to close this space a little bit, but I can... I can absolutely make this happen. So if I just go and do, let's see, this is going to be kind of weird looking. Interesting. Okay. It's, I guess, not going to let me do that. And maybe the gap's too small. That might be what's going on there. Let's try getting rid of the windows just to see if that helps at all. Or if it is truly that the gap, the gap might just be too small. All right. This seems like a decent little space. And I think what I'm going to do with this space is I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a shower room and I'm going to copy the shower room and I'd like to put a shower room over here so I might actually turn some of these dormitories around. In fact, if I just cancel that room and I grab this dormitory, pick it up and we swing it around, I don't like that it's facing in that way, but that's okay. I also don't know why this uh, dormitory is complaining about not being accessible because it absolutely is. That's kind of weird. I'm going to be honest. A little bit weird. But now I can go ahead and put myself a shower room down there, which I guess is... I guess the issue is the windows on this one. That was a bad I just deleted. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Uh, so you and you, and then we'll go ahead and clone the bed and put it there. And I have no idea what the room could possibly be complaining about. Doesn't seem like it's complaining about anything, really. It just seems like it's complaining to complain. I wonder if I just sell the room and then, you know, duplicate, say, this one and put it there and approve of it. That seems to have fixed it. Okay, let's sell these windows, I guess, and let's see. Yes, it's me, Tarkin Fox Bridge. I'm here, control you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The only issue, I guess, with this setup is now I can't put a 4x4 four four room in there. But that's okay. I can put a 3x4 room in there, which I guess could be a student lounge. It's 3x3, three three, a student union is 3x4. 
Let's do a student lounge. And we'll do it right here with a door, I guess, right about there. And this thing doesn't really need much, but I guess we'll make it kind of nice because we probably should. So a little wall right there. And I guess another one right there. And I'm going to make a kitchen area because I actually really... There's something about these kitchen areas that I just really dig. So this works nicely for a student lounge. It is also the end of the year, which is fine by me. Campus apparently needs VR lab. Ooh, interesting. Okay, well, we can probably do that. There are a few people that want a few different things. They're not going to be getting them because honestly, I just don't really care. Uh, so they're not getting any of that stuff. The next thing I want to do though is very, very simply, I want to go and grab, I think this bathroom right here. We'll copy it, swing it around, put it right about there. And we could make that bigger if we wanted to. I don't know that we need to though, so I'm not gonna bother. And this is fine. The only thing we really need now is to make sure that the hallways are actually kind of warm. So let's get a radiator here and here. And that warms up that space kind of nicely. Get a radiator over here. And I suppose a radiator right, say here and here. We'll warm up those spaces with one right at the end of this little uh, hallway. And I guess one at the end of this hallway as well is going to be a bit of an idea just to make sure that no one's complaining about the, uh, the cold. So a bunch of radiators there. We'll get ourselves a couple of vending machines in this space too. So one right there and one down at this end as well. Maybe a water cooler just to change things up a little bit. And that'll do. We don't need to go too crazy in that space. That's a whole bunch of dormitories, which is fantastic. And a whole bunch of course points, which means I can upgrade things. So funny business and internet history could be upgraded if we wanted to. We could add another course. I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna add another robotics course or robotics upgrade and confirm it, which is good. So we need a VR lab and we need two more teachers. Let's go ahead and grab those. Uh, you have inspirational speaking. So we'll grab you and drop you in there. And we'll go ahead and grab, let's see, anyone else gonna be good for funny business? Doesn't really look like, I mean, I know there's a few there. I've just seen if anyone was particularly good. Uh, we'll do this. So that's everything we need except for the VR lab. So what we'll do is put the VR lab in this space since it can be five by four. And we'll just go ahead and do something like this. And what do we got? We got a VR chair. Now these are new and I'm getting some serious, uh, what was the name of the game? I have a comic book for it, Evil Genius 2. I'm getting some Evil Genius 2 vibes from these chairs. I can't remember, I think it was the interrogation rooms or something like that had chairs like this. Definitely getting that, uh, getting that same vibe from that. And I'm kind of okay with it. But I think that's kind of cool looking. Those, I don't know if they do anything for the room, really. I could, I do have some decent kudosh. I could grab a thing or two to make the room a little bit better, but I think we're okay. I, I think we'll just leave it as is because we're very close, I think, to being done with this particular university anyway. So what we'll do is just put a poster here and we'll get a poster here and we'll just do what we can to try and make this room a little bit nicer. I'm also thinking a, a large radiator seems like a good idea. See if we can maybe just warm the room up completely with maybe two radiators. And just like that, we have everything we need to start the academic year. Let's go ahead and start it. And I think we immediately get three stars, which gives us the robot display and Western films, 200 kudosh. That's kind of fantastic. It's about time that Mitten University added yet another first-rate campus to its rich set of embarrassments. Have you achieved that? Well, well who am I to say? Oh, right. Yes, who are you to say? Not bad, though. Not bad at all. We've managed to get it to three stars. It turns out that getting to three stars is perhaps what we need to be doing more often in order to get ourselves a whole bunch of kudosh and to unlock a lot of things. But it is also really cool to see that there's, you know, 10 classes scheduled at a time right there. That there are 10 right here and just 10 all the way through. It is actually really cool to see all of this happening. 
I'm also thinking we need to go in and make sure that uh, everybody is being trained up a little bit. So you are going to get trained up in internet history. You can just keep getting trained in robotics. You can keep getting trained in internet history. You, for example, mechanics level two. I'm just going to go down the list essentially and train everybody in what I think is, is relevant. That way they're all just going to be fantastic. And it's also going to help, you know, because I'm going to get to a point. What is this? Mechanics. I'm I'm going to unlock different career goals, right? And that's kind of what we're looking for. So I guess we'll just keep, we'll just, we'll just train everybody. As soon as they're available, as soon as they're available, they can go and get training. It's costing a lot of money, but let's be honest, we're making a lot of money. So this is good. I think this works out for us.